here you've got a, an economy that is growing at a faster rate. You've got taxes that are now beginning to show, lower taxes beginning to show up in people's paychecks. There have been, obviously, numerous examples of companies paying bonuses, giving people raises. Um, uh, the stock market has bounced back. This all would be a very nice tailwind for Republicans who are trying to get reelection. Does help them in the midterm? It must. It will. G generic ballots are now running about even. Okay, they were down 15 points or more in GOP. They narrowed to five, six, and I saw a reason poll this morning even, dead even. So yeah, it's going to be a tough race. So they have to. Uh, my simple analysis would be that GOP candidates have to run on the economy. Period. Yes. Well, period. They may run on Trump. There may be other issues, but I would run on the economy. Growth, growth, growth. Tax cuts, tax cuts, tax cuts. Wages, wages, wages. I mean, one of the interesting things here. Lower regulation, better have, business climate. That's right. This thing has kicked in really fast. I don't think anybody, probably including myself and, and Steve Moore and others who worked on this thing, I don't think we anticipate how fast it would kick in. And by the way, uh, the announcement on Cisco, how much they're, they're bringing home, I don't know, several hundreds of billions of dollars to repatriate. That blows, up the, uh, that blows up the estimates of the federal deficit. They themselves basically cover the uh, anticipated shortfall. So we're going to see you know, much, much, much smaller deficits and, and more growth. And the, I, I just want to add one thing, though. Okay. I really like the Wall Street Journal editorial today on tariffs and why they're bad. And trade protectionism is bad. And trade protectionism can undermine a healthy economy. And this steel dumping stuff. We've tried this many hundreds of times before. Dumping is a global price. Uh, national security, the 232, we deal with that. The Defense Department is always by America. We have plenty of steel. I mean, really, I, I think the president should focus on specifics. You know, China, intellectual property, I get that. Um, uh, NAFTA, there are certain issues there. Can't walk away from it. But, you know, we must be conscious of this. We're all very optimistic. I'm very optimistic. I'm very grateful for this. It's turning out good let, for supply let, let's side. Let's talk about another but no nit, trade protection. Another please. nit you have to pick, and yeah. that is with the policy regarding the dollar. Right. And and you thought that at I believe it was Davos, right. Secretary Mnuchin sort of stepped in it in a way. Yeah, I think he at least momentarily momentarily fumbled. Um, fumbled. The president was much better in the Joe Kernan interview, which I thought was terrific. Look, Art Laffer and Steve Moore and I put out an op-ed piece uh, this weekend on this subject. We don't want the dollar to fall. If the dollar falls... But shouldn't a stronger economy help the dollar? Yes. And it's a bit of a puzzle why that hasn't happened. And we don't want the administration of the Treasury to talk down the dollar. You know who did this best? A Democrat. Robert Rubin, Treasury Secretary in Clinton's second term. He was the best. A strong currency is in the nation's best interest. So, look, if the dollar keeps falling from here, then I think... The Fed has to take some action. They're going to have to absorb more reserves, close the balance sheet down, let the rates ride up in the short end. I, you cannot look. It's inflationary. It's inflationary. It causes financial bubbles. It causes interest rates to go up. No one has ever devalued their currency into a, a into serious prosperity. prosperity. So, I, you know, I think, I think this is this and protectionism. I'm going to call them question marks. All right? I'm not mm -hmm. saying they're going to bring the house down. I, I don't know that. And I hope calmer heads will prevail. Let the tax rate reduction and let the deregulation work its magic on the economy and the elections. I think the Democrats made a big mistake not having a serious counter on the tax cut bill. I think it's good politics, it's great economics, and I've always believed the two are intertwined. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.